Hello everyone, welcome back. So today we're gonna to create a front door. So let me show you the architecture. So this is the one. So here we're gonna create a front door and we'll be creating two different uh, web apps in which one is in central US, the other one is in East US. So let's go ahead and create and we'll be connecting these two with uh, the front end Azure. So let's go ahead and create that. So coming to the tasks, the task that we're going to perform is the first we're going to create two instances of web apps and then we're going to create a front door uh, for the application and then we ha uh, will be viewing the front door application in action. In the end, we'll be deleting all the resources. So, so I've already created it. So let me show you how I have created. So initially, let's go to the web app. So so select the relevant uh, resource group and give the web app name. So in this case, uh, it was web app. So this is the name of the web app that we have created. Let's see. Yeah. And uh, select 3.1. The one is in East US and uh, it's free. So this is the configuration. So I have used this one to create the app. So I have created two different apps. Uh, let me show you that. So these are two different apps that I've created uh, using the same configurations that I've shown you. So yeah, this is the one. So once uh, these two are completed, let's go ahead and uh, create the front door so just type front door so I've already created one uh, I'll show you how uh, I've created it so Azure front door and quick create so select these two and continue so select the appropriate uh, Azure pass and uh, give the resource name group select the name so in this case uh, the name would be like front door so, yeah so we have that name and coming to the endpoint it's a uh, ft endpoint and uh, let's say one and the origin type would be the app service and uh, the origin host name would be uh, one that we have created in this case let's say uh, the second one and I'll not create any policy right now so we just go ahead and create it so this is how I have created the front door so let me go back select this so once you create it uh, you'll be sh uh, you'll be seeing this and you have to go to the origin groups so select this so initially there will be only one app which you have added in the previous uh, stage so I'll, I have to add the other one. So in the previous one, I have added, uh, I guess, the second one. So in this case, I'll be adding the first one. So it would be like a first web app. And the origin type would be app service. The host name would be, uh, so it will be the first one. Since in the previous uh, one, I have selected the second. So in this case, I'll be adding the second one. Sorry, first one. And just add. However, so once you once it is done, you can see the first as well as second has been added here and everything looks good and you just need to click update. So this is how it is done. So once it is updated, uh, let's go to the overview and you can see the endpoint hostname here, copy that. Paste it. So you can see uh, it has been successfully working so now let's try to stop one of the web service so in this case we have two let's uh, try to stop this so even if you're trying to stop it uh, it's working let's go ahead and uh, stop the second one as well now we'll be getting error so 
So let's refresh this. Now refresh this. You can see the service is unavailable. So this is how you can create the front door. So I hope you guys have understood the concept of front door. So if you like the video, please click the like button below. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. And thank you guys. And don't forget to delete the resources that you have created. Thank you.